What's up guys, um, today I'm going to be doing the final update on these Enon uh, head units, the uh, GA6180Fs. Um, I wish I had better news for you, they sent me a whole brand new kit, like a whole brand new head unit and um, I've just been here in the truck playing around with it and I just plugged it in and it hisses even worse than the first unit I sent me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of a couple of different combinations here in the truck and show you the noise that I'm talking about. Uh, and then I'm going to kind of give a final overview. And what you're going to find if you're if you're watching this video, um, there's a good chance that you saw one of my other videos and it was also linked here. Um, this was filmed today's the 21st of October uh, and this is going to be the final video. So um, kind of these are these are going to be my final thoughts on this. So let me let me show you kind of what we're doing here. This is a brand new head unit, literally delivered a couple of hours ago. This one, you can see it's marked A up here. This is my original head unit that they sent me. And I have two harnesses. I have this harness which they sent me as a stopgap fix that has these um, has these op amps in here and what they're acting as you can see these are the uh, the speaker lines and they're acting as a filter and it definitely makes a difference because I went and plugged in this guy over here this is a brand new harness that came uh, with this uh, new head unit I thought maybe there might have been some issue with the plugs in this harness I wanted to give it give it every option to be successful um, and uh, it's it's really bad right now so this has basically a factory harness with no filter on it and this is my original head unit right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the key in. And we're going to play some music. And the audio in the truck, or I'm sorry, the uh, the fan in the truck is off. So all of the shushy noise that you're about to hear is uh, is coming from is coming from the uh, the head unit. So. Um, so I got the doors closed. It's nice and quiet in here, so you can listen to this. So we got the the volume turned up almost all the way. You guys can hear that, and that that hissing noise is is really annoying. So right, so this is working for it by Zhu, and like. You just have this buzzing all the time. So here's the same song. It's maybe marginally better. But it's, it's just still super annoying. And the reason, um, how you know that it has to do with the internals of the amp, of the actual, it has to do with Electromagnetic interference is what it has to do with because if we go into the amplifier, right? If it was a specific frequency, if it was an audio effect, when we play it, we can make it go away. See, the hissing is the same no matter what we do with the equalizer. So I know it has to do with electromagnetic interference. Um, so basically... The end conclusion of this point, and I can plug in the other head unit uh, for you guys on video, and it does the exact same thing. Um, I guess to prove that, let me let me do that right now. So here we go. Remember how I told you my original head unit is marked A? Here is the other head unit. I have just the, uh, the main harness plugged into it. And so if I hit play, turn it off. There's that hissing noise again. <laughs> So basically, in conclusion, um, these head units are no good. Uh, if you look at my original video, you'll see there's several people that have co posted in the comments having the same issue on very similar trucks. So it's not just me. There's nothing wrong with my truck um, because the factory head unit sounded great. Um, so that being said, you know, it's like you got to put your money where your mouth is. This is $300 just flush down the drain. Uh, I'm going to send them back their old one. I'm going to see if I can get a refund for my original one or a partial refund or something. 
Um, but I can't be driving around without a head unit, which is kind of uh, a big part of the problem as well. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit more research and I'm probably going to end up spending four five, six hundred $600 and I'm going to buy a proper, you know, Pioneer or Kenwood, uh, head unit so I can have my backup camera because the backup camera is critical for a lot of the things that I do. Um, it's one of the biggest reasons I got this, uh, head unit in the first place was so I could have a backup camera because if I didn't need a backup camera, I would have just gotten a standard single din, like high end Bluetooth head unit. Cause all I do is listen to music and talk on the phone via Bluetooth. That's all I use it for. You know, I don't need a DVR or GPS or whatever. Cause I have all of that on my phone. So, um, basically my point here is, is I'm going to do my best to send all this stuff back and buy a good quality, uh, head unit. And I recommend you do the same. Um, the company itself is really great. The customer service I've received is absolutely top notch. They've done everything that they can to do for me. They send me custom cables, custom firmware. They send me a whole new head unit without having to have the old one back. Uh, like I said, I cannot say enough about the quality of the customer service and, and kind of the information they provide and the way they treat their customers. That is not at, at all the issue here. The issue here is strictly from a hardware standpoint. This is a poorly made piece of audio equipment. There's a ton of electromagnetic interference. Uh, when it heats up, when they're out like this, they're not in the dash. You can really smell the silicon cooking. Um, that's not a good sign. The show's cheap use of solder. It's just... I really wanted this to be a success. I really wanted to give them every opportunity, every video you watch that I've put up. I have given them the benefit of the doubt every time. Um, but unfortunately, it's just like, it's just not a good product. It's, it's just, um, unfortunately, it's just not a good product. And uh, and there's, there's really kind of no way to go about it, really. Um, so I think actually what I'm going to do is... Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send back one head unit for sure, and I'm gonna try to send back the other head unit, and maybe rock the stock head unit for a little bit uh, until I figure out what I want, or talk to them and see if they'll let me hang on to one of their head units for another week or so, because uh, I'm gonna about to start traveling here in a little bit, and so I won't be around to do all of this, which makes it even more frustrating. Um, but it's been almost a two month journey, and there's just, there's just no fix for this. So. Um, unless you want the cheapest, you know, video head unit that you can get and you just don't care about audio quality and you don't care about, you know, phone call quality and any of that and it doesn't really matter, you just want a basic solution, it's an okay basic solution. It really does everything it's advertised to do. Uh, it just doesn't play music very well because of that hissing noise and it just ruins it. Um, so like I said, this is my final uh, video on the Enon head units. The Maxworks rating is don't fucking get it. It's, it's no good. Don't buy into it. Um, and as much as I wanted it to work, it just, it just doesn't work. Um, so that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to put my truck back together here. Um, and hopefully this video, uh, helps some of you that are kind of on the fence about doing this to, uh, really kind of weigh the pros and cons of, of rocking one of these head units. Like I said, never again, never again. Um, but, and I'm gonna have to, pay a bunch more money to get this fixed but uh that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes and when you want to test out new products from places like china it's always a crapshoot what you're going to end up with so i want to thank you guys for watching if you like this video please subscribe make sure you hit the like button uh leave me a comment let me know if you're having similar issues and we'll kind of get this all figured out together peace